Um, it's like a sadistic, sedated, eccentric animal. Help me out. An entrepreneur of the highest caliber. Distant? It's really weird. What should I start on? Well, Real Voices was mainly why I started a club at school. We got to do a lot of film stuff, even though it sounds like the only thing I cared about was sandwiches. I mean, it was really difficult, because the biggest challenge I had was trying to get others to help me work on the vision I had for the club. And it never came out, because just too many conflicts, and people were too busy with other things. And we tried, I tried, and it was tough. But... We didn't have a camera, so that was one of the first things we needed. We needed the camera to work with. And we tried the school camera, but it just became quite a bureaucracy. So I decided to ask my dad if we could get maybe some money to buy a camera. So with that, we did something quite extraordinary. What actually prompted me to start it was the fact that I owed a lot of money to the camera for my dad and I wanted a way to make that money. Probably starting January 9th or so, I started passing out these menus. Matt Wong came into my history class, or our history class actually, um, and w was passing around his uh, brochure, his flyers I guess, of all the different sandwiches that he was offering. And they looked really good. Word spreads fast in high school, and people started to know even before I was passing them out. Everything's perfect. It was almost a dream. The principal comes out and he yells at me to stop what I'm doing and clean up everything within 10 minutes. I, I, the first time he said that, I kind of kept going. And then he comes out again, like a minute later. And then he tells everyone to stay away from me and all the friends who are sitting near the cafeteria who had ordered sandwiches, they start walking over and he yells at them to leave and not come within like 15 feet of me. And I thought, whoa, what an order. And I started packing everything up and I took everything away and I put it on the bench. I just thought to myself, this is terrible. I owe 14 sandwiches to people and if I don't make them, everybody will think I'm a coward. So I just moved to near the cafeteria. Everything was scattered all over the place, nothing like the organization that I had before. And I made all 14 orders and they all went out to the right person. And I kind of stopped at 14 because anymore I would have been swamped and the quality would have been terrible. Obviously the vice principal noticed that all the equipment that was supposed to be on the bench was gone. And she tells me that um, yeah, I'm gonna get a suspension. And she made it quite clear that I wasn't getting the referral exactly for uh, making sandwiches for, for being defiant. And she said, I'm gonna take away all your senior privileges. Yeah, you can petition. Went to chemistry next, and everybody's like, what, what happened? And by then, rumor had spread all over the school. And I know some junior friends started a movement called Free Matt Wong. Free Matt Wong! There were t-shirts yeah. made, there were posters made. Were there t-shirts? Oh, okay, guys, guys. I yeah, had, to it was a viral hit on Facebook oh, at one point. James Giamona and I came home and we made this group and invited all these people and it was Free Matt Wong Day. What day was that? A lot of us felt that the administration had gone too far. And so we decided to campaign for Matt Wong's Freedom. The uh, following days, a lot of students were protesting, like, you know, chanting free Matt Wong as they passed through the it's halls. True. and Free, free Matt, Matt Wong! And it's kind of silly, I thought, but heck, just whatever. This is probably the best fun I'll have all of high school. Can we call that part one? Okay, so part two is the media blitz. Around a week or two after it all happened, um, 
I was asked by a friend of mine to write an article in the high tide about what happened. And she was like, this is going to make a great story. And I said, probably make a better story than everything else I've read on this. Okay, I'm not going to say that. It's true, though. I know, it's the only thing people read. <laughs> and so she said, okay, I have a title for this already. It's going to be called, What Went Wong? And weird thing is, Channel 10 got a copy of the newspaper. Matt Wong is a renaissance man. He excels in the classroom and on the piano. But it's in the kitchen where his passion truly lies. I want to make the best sandwiches. I want everyone to have a great time. When I was coming home, my dad gave me a call and he said that um, some of his co-workers saw me on TV. It wasn't on local news, I was on CNN. And I thought, no way, it's not possible. Yeah, I got to appeal the suspension, and they they said which privileges of the five do you want to keep, and the one I didn't want to keep was senior breakfast, and they said, why don't you want to keep that? And I said, I make better sandwiches. It was really a joke. I didn't mean my sandwiches were better. I just being a little bit sarcastic. But remember, the school doesn't detect sarcasm at all. They don't know when you're sarcastic. They, they don't understand sarcasm. It's just not part of the system. I mean, it's one of the things I learned this year. You can't be funny with them and expect them to take anything as a joke. I think public schools are excellent at fostering creative minds and they invite people to work on things. They like seeing students doing things out of the norm. And I think there's a lot of potential for creative people to succeed in public schools. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Schools have to listen to hmm, authorities who want to see numbers. They want to see rational achievements rather than creative pursuits. You know, they want to see better grades better SAT scores, and so there's not a lot of potential for schools to embrace creativity per se, but a lot of teachers offer that to students, and that's what really defines a good school, whether the teachers there create a good environment for kids to just do what they want without breaking the rules, and I think I was in a very strange position this year, and that I wanted to do something good, and ended up doing the exact opposite. And so, maybe, I don't know what should be changed. I'm sure there are a lot of things that can be changed. But, for now, I don't see schools embracing creativity. I don't, I don't feel like an expert, so I don't want to say anything more. Nice shot. <laughs> How what makes it hard to work with them is we we just differ on our views of a lot of things. What makes it easy? Uh, <laughs> makes it easy to work with Matt. <laughs> install the surround sound system and it's really cheap it's only fifty dollars but it's just as good as all the major stuff out there here's an example <laughs> Jack of Spades glory. Face up the ground with 
Why you so slow?